Welcome back to the Billiard Corner. This is the BK Rush Killer. No, it's not a carbon fiber shaft, it's a wooden shaft. Surprise. Before we get started with this video, make sure to hit the like button to support this channel. It really helps me out and without a way, let's go and get started. Now as a backstory, I've owned many different types of brake cues in the past. I've owned the BK2, BK3, BK Rush, Mez Power Brake, Mez Power Brake 2, Tiger Icebreaker, and the list goes on. When I first saw the BK Rush come out, I was really interested whether or not the BK Rush's carbon fiber shaft would give you much an advantage over the brakes. After reading a whole bunch of positive reviews online, I decided to pull the trigger on the BK Rush. When I first got the Q, the Q looked very nice. The carbon fiber weave looked very high quality and the Q was overall balanced pretty well. After testing a whole bunch of brake shots, I just didn't feel like it gave me much an advantage over my other brake Q, which was the Mez Power Brake 2. With the Mez Power Brake 2, they designed it to be a little bit shorter so that you could choke up on the Q. And when you choke up on the Q, this allows you to give you a massive follow through without hitting the table. In the end, I sold the BK Rush after owning it for three months. Now, while most manufacturers was concentrated on making these carbon fiber shafts, Greg Souter out in Washington was concentrated on making a very special butt. Now, this is what is called a reverse taper brake cue. And what's so special about this brake cue is actually the butt design. You can see right here it has a very slim butt right here and it gets thicker as it goes on. Now I've known about Greg Souter for a long time but didn't know that he made such a unique brake cue. The first time I saw this brake cue was by my friend Kevin. Now Kevin at the time had one of his earlier models where it's just a brake cue. And Greg has since updated the design to be a brake jump cue which is pretty cool. Kevin was nice enough to let me test out his cue and when I first held the cue, I knew it was something special. The cue itself felt very dense and the reverse taper design allows you to choke up on the cue. This is a very similar design philosophy as the Mez Power Brake 2. Whenever I'm breaking this cue, I feel like I could really choke up on the cue and give a massive follow through, kind of like Johnny Archer's old brake. What's really special about the reverse taper design is that it gets thicker right here. So the more you push into the cue, the more it stops you and the more power it can transfer. And this allows you to give a lot of power without much effort. All right, let me show you some close-ups of this cue. All right, here's my Greg Souter reverse taper jump brake cue. As you can see, it was made to match my Bob Brundy cue on the right. If we take a look at the butt section right here, you can see how slim the butt is compared to my Rundy cue. And if we go up here, you can see the joint of the cue where it separates the jump handle. The shaft is a whopping 14 millimeters at five ounces, and together the cue weighs just shaft 24 ounces. When I first approached Greg about wanting a custom breaker to match my Rundy, I had very specific specs in mind. I wanted a 3 8 by 10 pin, I wanted a Sam Sarah tip, I wanted that 20 ounces, and Greg told me that he could build to my specs, but he believed that his specs would make the cue even better. I was kind of hesitant at first to be honest, but I had full trust in him and let him have free reign with the specs. The build process was really great and I was blown away of how it turned out. As you can see, the cue has been ebonized to a beautiful glossy black. It has a 5 16 by 14 pin with a white phenolic joint to match my runny cue. And when I ordered the cue, I requested he put a Samsara tip for me. However, when I went to pick up the cue, Greg had actually made an executive decision and put this clear acrylic tip on it. He told me that the Samsara tip didn't jump as good as this one. Again, I was a bit skeptical, but I trusted Greg. Greg let me test out the new brake cue on his home table and I immediately could feel that cue was very well balanced. I thought that since the cue was a whopping 24 ounces, it would be butt heavy. However, Greg balanced it perfectly. Honestly, I'm quite happy Greg decided to put this clear tip on. The tip could spin the cue ball pretty easily, which is surprising because the tip is super hard. Now you may be asking, how does this compare to the BK Rush? I personally think this cue blows the BK Rush out of the water. I actually owned the BK Rush for a few months, like I said before, and I just didn't feel like the design gave me much of an advantage. I was honestly kind of underwhelmed with the BK Rush. Let me go and show you guys a couple jump and break shots.
As you guys saw, this brake cue can generate a lot of power. The reverse taper design really allows you to choke up the cue and give a massive follow through for those powerful brakes. The jumping ability of this cue is pretty good, but I think I would still carry a dedicated jump cue with me. Overall, I'm super happy with this cue. This cue is very uniquely designed, feels super dense, and feels really comfortable in the hand when I'm braking with it. All right, I think that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this content, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more pool-related content in the future. If you guys wanna join my Facebook groups, I'll post the links in the description below. See you guys next time.